Welcome back to the Final Fantasy D20 system Grand Oh shit Gaia 2 episode 59 Season 3 session 29 Last time After injecting himself With the cocktail of Matrix's Syndrome Corneo turned himself In some sort of massive beast Wielding all of Ling's And Nelnir's powers At the same time As well as additional ones once you defeated him, he turned into something completely different, still somewhat resembling himself, with a little bit of hair, and then again after you defeated that form. But with the third form, that was it. He reverted back to his normal little insignificant self. Today, what did all this mean? It doesn't seem like the sort of thing a crime boss would do. Totally out of character. And now, for the party. Hello. Hello. One second. That's what I needed. <laughs> Can't spell crime without calcium. <laughs> Dubby. <laughs> Dubby. Best ending drink we got. So, afterwards, he is sitting there wheezing to himself, just laying there like a pile of, well, trash. Hands still out. So, so, Nick, got anything to ask him? <laughs> You're far too late. Everything is going to plan exactly the way I want it to. What do you mean by that? That's Corneo. You think this was my doing? <laughs> Absolutely I mean, not. Well, sticking a needle into your thigh and uh, transforming into... It was my God. neck! Whatever. You're thinking of EpiPens. EpiPens are what you go into your thigh with. Just either way. Is that really part of the plan? Like, on your knees? Probably your life being um, held by that guy? That guy? Yes, that guy. Or it could be me. If you prefer that way. <laughs> this is just the beginning. My life is about to be retold as as is momentarily. As a forgotten piece of shit. You hear clapping coming from the doorway. Huh? Well, well, I do say that was quite a uh, interesting story you got there, Corneo. You. Yes. Me. Oh, I am sorry. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Von Cho. Hmm. So, Dr. Von Cho. Hmm. I've been behind uh, Project... Oh, crap. What project was this called? Project T? The Omegas? T-Series? Shit. <laughs> I mean, I, the I project down in the uh, notes. Uh... Uh, project Trojan for years. Mm. 
And uh, we've come across some significant prop uh, it, situations. And uh, ever since they decided to si silence us scientists, we've come into some situations. Isn't that right, Miss 24? Just stay silent. I don't... Why, yes, that is correct, Doctor. Would I know who this is? Because I was lived through the, like... Damn it, radio. your uh, camera went off. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, Would I know who there this is? Yes, Jesse, you know exactly who this is. Why? You met this person a long time ago. After a fight at the bar at 7th Heaven, you greeted them and you joined uh, Avalanche for a short period of time. This was their leader. You shook hands with them after taking off your glove. I never took off. Oh, you mean Jack? No, he didn't take off his glove, but. But yeah. But as Jesse in the character, would I recognize her? Oh, yes. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Because I was raised by the person who owned Seventh Heaven. <laughs> so. Not a, not a family yes. friend? Jack. That is one of my people that I've taken. Uh, they're... they're uh, unlike the other Project uh, Trojans... I take on the appearance of living beings. All I need is a sample of their DNA. I just squint my eyes at her. It could and... be on your glove, because in order to put on gloves, you have to physically touch the gloves. I mean, that's how you usually wear clothing. Dude, but Jesse's, but Jesse's this was from you, Jesse. Oh. As Jack? No, as Jesse. Oh! Looks at her. Uh, does this look familiar? And she just slides uh, a piece of paper across this uh, be uh, bed right here. I'm gonna. I'm still. <laughs> I never left it... my third form, so it's easy. Oh. Uh, then you're it? just wasting key right now. Yeah. Uh, it's a picture of Jesse, a wanted for blowing up of Mako Reactor 4. No. Looks at her. <laughs> H. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, it's simple, really. Ever since what they did to us, number 23 and number 24. It's discouraging us after after he wanted to seek freedom. The persons that uh, twenty four was supposed to be matched was with was that one over there, but they chose another another match for him as the war went on and as uh. He was thrown into, uh, as he was not as talented as the rest. Until he started to blossom and surpass everyone else. I was the head of my units, and then I was discouraged. Perhaps you recognize other parts of me. We have met several times on the battlefront. I'm just looking over to ne Nelmir and Gorm. You probably rem rem re uh, know certain faces of mine. Gorm pulls out his sword. Starts walking over. 
No. Let the lady speak. Is she here to taunt us? No. Or does she have a point? She has just has shown you that certain DNAs of people that she has met over the years. <laughs> just, just looks at her. He's like. He's like, during the time he thinks, then. What do you do to my mother? Your mother? Oh, that. Huh. Yes, I have a sample of your DNA, your mother's DNA as well. Now, if this is, these are all just samples that you can shift, what happened to the originals? I either did away with them completely, or they did away with themselves. Like, uh... Chaos did away with this one's uh, parents. I'm also uh, have a sample of his uh, lost love, uh, who tried to take over the family business. Does that not ring a bell, Gorm? Gorm narrows his eye at her. <laughs> And, even more significantly, I'm sure you recognize this face. It was difficult getting a sample of this one. But once able to get a uh, sample of this one, I was quite able to get samples of the rest of the Turks. And then as my powers blossomed, I was able to pass my DNA strands onto clones of myself. Which are currently full obedience, located at eight different parts of the city at the moment. I'm sorry, what? You heard me. No, that... Go back and do that sentence again, please. <laughs> <laughs> they are currently located at eight specific areas of the city at the moment. Why? Why why do all of this? To get revenge on Shinra. Isn't that what you want too, Gorm? Gorm thinks for a few moments. The utter I... annihilation of Shinra. What better way to do it than to get rid of the city itself? But there's innocent people on, on the city. There is no innocent people on this city. If they back Shinra, they're no better than Shinra. What about those who who stayed ne neutral, huh? Those who stayed too? neutral? Well, show me where the ones that stayed neutral. Obviously, they don't live in the city because then they are backing Shinra. They pay the Shinra tax. They are, are obviously staying with, with Shinra. They don't have a choice, huh? They have to pay their taxes just to make a solid living to survive in the city, huh? There's no law saying that they have to leave. Or they have to stay. And where would they go? Your logic is flawed. They can go anywhere else. They can go to Calm. Well, they could have gone to Calm before you destroyed it. They could have gone anywhere else. Oh. That's right. This is actually a great place for massive amounts of humes to die. Isn't that what the mother planet wants? That's right. I'm also part Sentra. The I agree with the planet, though. Maybe you should do the planet a favor and kill yourself first. That's an excellent idea. You hear rumbling uh, coming from... And somewhere you just see the let you just see uh, you, you see everybody's uh, well, everybody's uh, cameras shift suddenly. Yeah, someone oh, joined. Lady joining. Hi. That's actually oh. that's actually cool. Uh, suddenly, everybody's cameras shift. 
Jaleo, what did you do? I don't know, suddenly, what did, did I do? Suddenly, all the, um... All the lamps and everything uh, shakes suddenly, or cameras, sorry, uh, lamps shake violently in the whole facility. Oh, I wonder what that was. Surely it wasn't anything bad or good. The lights flicker on and off for a quick couple of moments. I suppose there's seven of me left now. There's eight of me. Anyway, where were we? We were getting on to the good stuff. No, near. This is more about me and you. I'm gonna take we this in a private room or something? No, no. Why take it in a private room when all your friends can hear? But what about me? You promised me fame and power. Oh. May I? So we can get rid of him, get him out of here first. No, no. He, he's more. Uh, now, what better suits you? You seem to treat women poorly. Um. You know what? This form will suit you best. What? What? What's going on? Oh my gosh! You made him thin. I think it looks better this way. Huh? Well, what's going on? You just sit there for a minute. Uh, uh, sure. Yes, boss. You see, I can pass on my powers to any adults. Of course, there's complications involved. They turn into some sort of monstrosities at first. The vial we gave him was not Matrix's serum. It was my serum. Then where's Matrix? Oh, he's in the back room. Matrix, the child of prophecy, apparently. Am I standing on somebody? No. no. Where, no. Did, where did the... Oh, the doctor's there. I can't see over Gorm's uh, hit points, MP, and everything else. Ah. Uh, the, uh, the doctor's located on top of Gorm, but... <clears throat> prophecy? So where is everyone? I'm loaded into uh, the map. I don't see anyone. Bottom right. Top bottom right. right. Yeah. Uh, oh, there we right. go. What do you mean by prophecy? Uh, oh, nothing. It is a scientific term. Scientific. Shut up, you. Yes. The prophecy of evolution for the Project Trojan series. Project Matrix. You started a science experiment because of a prophecy. Why, yes, I did. What are you gonna do about it? And just think the glorious, glorious behind it all. The child can produce other offspring and create a whole new world of generations of even more offspring in the system of Florence's! <laughs> And there's nothing that can stop me! Gorm pulls out. Gorm reaches into his inventory, goes through his paladin's kit, pulls out his bar of soap. A bar of soap? Yes. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> what do you do with the bar of soap? Okay. I'm gonna get big. You can't? Oh. Well, I guess if we're... Are you going to put, like, a bar of soap onto his mouth for uh, verbal behavior? He's going to crush him with a bar of soap. 
Yeah, but... Uh, I was gonna get big to have a bonus to grapple, but Dion says I can't. Uh... I mean, he's just a little scientist. Do you want him dead? Want him crimpled? I um, can make him dead. Probably bl blast a hole through his fucking stomach. All right, hold on. <laughs> we need to curb the bloodlust just a little bit here. I know so there's an emergency. Sorry, Gorm. Bloodlust the, stays high. The bloodlust, you say? The room starts shaking again. Oh, huh? I wonder if that's the weapon. Maybe the weapon's trying to make an emergence. No. Oh, what then? Apparently, there's seven of me left now. They're probably fucking. You said that last time. I meant eight. There is nine, eight, you're seven. You're counting. Well, you're you're quite um, terrible at mathematics, man. But. <clears throat> Besides that, what do you mean by weapon? The hand coming out of the ground. Isn't that one of the fabled weapons that the planet had made and for self-defense? But it's going to be using it against the humans since chaos is what's clearly uh, failed. Chaos has, has uh, since vanished. Or is defeated by mere humans. From this conversation, uh, do, from the round the twenty-five minutes, do I sense any life going away by any chance? How far away? Twenty-five miles. Oh yeah, about at least uh. Probably at this point, at least uh, a million lives have gone away so far. Just, just. So, looks over to the doctor. I assume your clo clones are bombers to kill oh, them all? No, huh? they're not my clones. I was just in. in I'm just ahead of Project T. Trojan, as you know. <laughs> Get it? Project Trojan, as in, like, being hidden? Like a horse? Like those mythical animal horses? Because clearly we don't have those anymore. Gorm, I, Jesse looks at you. He he has a... He, he's getting fucking pissed off at this guy's speak. It puts his hand towards, towards him. What's that gonna do? Something. Anyway. Gorm suddenly lunges at the doctor and tries to grapple him. Ah! I'm gonna make a move too. Uh, if I can. Can I? Go ahead. Alright. Um, Nelnir, um, quite swiftly, uh, un kind of unholsters his shotgun, uh, as a move action. I think I have quick draw. Yeah, I do. And um, I'm going to hold my action to attack uh, her. Just in case. Right, she pulls a muscle. She pulls lots of them. Oh, God. She turns into... Uh, uh, what's his name? One of the dogs. Uh, leader of the Varg. That is not Am a dog. Am I running water lung? Just in case. They have to make a will save against it, but yes. Sweet, I'm gonna ready that. Just in case. I wouldn't Are try to um, pull any attempts trying to save the doctor, okay? I'm, I'm not here to save the doctor. I know. Just saying. <laughs> you said Matrix is in the back room? Yes, behind me. Step aside. Absolutely not. We're not we... done. Well, spit it out then. If this talk is going to be about me, then might as well spit it out so that we don't have to waste any more time. So, 
you said that you were always thinking about this Tave person. Do you know who Tave is? Well, not knowing now that my memory's kind of a, a mixed mess, all I remember as Tave is some former friend back then. Tave was one of the leading scientists with Project Trojan before it was called Project Trojan. They died in a significant accident. Poor thing, poor thing. But their cells have been carried on into the new project. Project T? Project T. Those cells were taken over into Ling's side. Unfortunately, they were not taken over to my side. And Ling is just way too, uh hard to get a hold of. Yeah. And of course, you remember me. I do. Yes, you were chasing 24 to an alley where you met me. Mm -hmm. And I assure you, this is real. He locks his and loads his gun. I mean, besides the uh, flourishes about your shift shift changing abilities, what else is there? Was it difficult to catch me too? Difficult? I haven't been able to get a sample of you. Well. Every time I touch you, I'm not able to get a sample of you. You're immune to my uh, getting samples of. The room shakes again. That happened again? Yeah, the shaking hat happened again. Yep, looks like you're six no, of I me mean, now. No, I mean, there's seven of him now, right? There's six of me now. <laughs> But it was seven the last two times. Oh my god. <laughs> it was counting down. Nine, eight, seven. Oh my goodness. What good, am I, what good am I in this situation if not to give the characters a hard time? <laughs> I'll be right back. Should you be worried about all this rumbling going on? With some of you being lost to the zone? Me? I know what the rumbling is. None of you can leave this room at the moment. If any of you what leave do you mean? if any of you leave this room, there's gonna be a lot of rumbling. A lot very quickly. Are you telling me this is some form of safe room? And we just have to wait until all this rumbling comes to its stop? You could that say way. that. In any case, can I try to sense motive? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, let me go to skills real quick. Where's sense motive? Okay. Uh... Oh, there What's... it is. <laughs> I would say, can I sense motive? But I wasn't here to have the conversation. So... That was that is in that one. <laughs> There's one. And just one reason alone for all of this death and explosions. You see, you there is a... What's that? <laughs> I was saying you care to elaborate, but then you started to talk, so it's fine. It, you see, there is a time lapse or a, some kind of time dilation going around the uh, weapon. We're hoping to destroy that time lapse with massive death because I'm on the planet's side I believe humans should or humans should die um I'd like to do a knowledge check on that seeing as I'm a time mage just to see is that actually gonna have the effect they want okay uh, knowledge Arcana, I assume? Yes. 
Mm. Oh. oh, geez. With enough magical uh, output, it is possible to have to disrupt time with enough magical output. So death would do that? Death would equal life stream. Life stream equals magical output. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Well. Surely there's another way to get that much magic in one place. Well, we could have destroyed Neo Midgar, but Midgar has a lot more people in it. A lot more people clinging to each other like rats. That wasn't quite what I meant. After all, enough materia use <sighs> would put a large amount of magical output, and you have Mako reactors. <laughs> Did you really have to kill people to do this? What do you think we're using as a conduit? It just seems like live people can use Mako and, and Materia just as well. You would need just as many people to use Materia. Do you think how many people would agree to using that much Materia to bring out a weapon that can kill them when it wakes up? Well, I mean, you could have just bribed them and not told them what it was for. Bribing a roughly around 8 million people? I see your point. So, Doctor, get this man off of me! Gorm drags the Doctor away from the Cetra. Where are you dragging him? Right here. Oh god, that is some slowdown. What are you doing with me? You're coming with us. Like hell. Remember, I'm just one of many doctors. Oh, good. My Gorm many, you mean socks him and then tries to knock him unconscious. Uh, pop. Wow, even with the shield oath damage to penalty. Like I said, there's just one of many of me. Gorm grabs the new doctor. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so. I just just realized there's six of you for each sector. I mean, that's basically what uh, yeah. <clears throat> she said all around the city. Specifically. You can never get to all the right places in time. We're fast enough. Wow, she is really changing. Wait, that's one person? Yeah. Mm. Oh. She I'm trying to catch up, but I, I'm still a little confused. She changed shifts. Just like how Her. I did it. How gotcha. Tommy did it. Ling. Yes. But. You're different. You change shifts, but you retain your own person, except your pair changes. Yeah. You're I, a step I, above everybody else. You're quite perceptive about that, but I'm that, not going to reveal my cards to you. I don't think no. you know what your cards are. Can I try to make a bluff or not? Nah? Go ahead and make a bluff. All right. 
We are going to use a sense motive. Okay. Where's the other... S oh, God. I don't think you know what your cards are. Nelia kind of narrows his brows. She just kind of blinks her eye. Where's it the should, others? It should have been us that made Matrix. Explosion again. I forget what number I'm on. You were on six. I think you were on six. Now it's going to be five. Five. Probably. What sector are we on? I hope they're all completely random. No, I mean like... I mean like where we're at, DM. You're in Sector 5. Jesse's gonna... And there's a window? By any chance? You're underground. I... Looks over to Gorm. Is, and Jesse's gonna say... Gorm. I'm gonna try my best to find the, the fifth person or try to find the bomb. That's what you can. Gore? <clears throat> I... Gore? Yeah. J Out of character, Phantom, what are you trying to tell Gorm exactly. I he is gonna go try to look for the bomb and set like like for the these bombers so he can prevent all this death as fast as he can. Okay, so Jesse's going off on his own? I have the speed. And I probably right. said yeah. So we're good. Oh so do you now there's one of me. Everything shakes massively. I did say if you left this room, they would all go off. Jesse, come back, please. The room starts shaking massively. Well, then, I guess there's just me now. The lights go out. Oh, boss, what's going on? Don't worry, your alter self, I'm sure, has a backup power. And the lights flicker on. Huh. It starts uh, about ten minutes later, the shaking stops, and then a new shaking starts. And a groan, a deep, deep groan Wait, starts Wait, hold to on. We're not just going to sit here for ten minutes, are we? Yeah. Okay. Okay, what are you Warm. doing within these 10 minutes? You're covered in rubble. Look, out of character, I jumped in 30 minutes late. I don't really understand where we are or what's happening. Last I remember, we took out Don Corneo. Can someone explain? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was here from the beginning, and I can tell you, I have no idea what's going on. With confidence. <laughs> With confidence. <laughs> All right, so what I remembered so far, we beat the living crap out of Don Corneo, um, EX. You beat him to a pulp. EX. We somehow were here. Um, I think Jesse tried to execute him because no, there was no I, questions. I, I wait for you. I put my hand out and wait for you for a response. So you have any questions to ask him? Oh, yeah, I was sleeping. Left off last time. Yeah, I was sleeping. Yeah. I fell asleep. Bro, you were, you were so entranced in thought, we just, we just took a next episode. Yeah. So, how did we get from Don Corneo to here, though? This is his boss. Oh, this is Don Corneo's boss? Yes. So what, he, like, teleported us here or something? No, this is where you went met Don Corneo. The shape changer is, uh... Oh, this That's is the, uh, the dungeon outside where we met? Yeah. Where we fought him? Yeah, this is yeah. the mansion. Mm. Okay, cool. I didn't remember the map. Um, okay, so we basically exited the room and his boss came out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Don Corneo put on a massive performance. The doctor came out and gave him a nice little round of applause. Told him a, little, a couple of things. And then introduced number 24, which you've met multiple times throughout the entire, well, series so far, just in multiple forms. 
So number 24 is the one that keeps changing shape. Yes. Yeah, you um, And you've the met, one that uh, Gorm has grappled is Don Corneo's boss. Yes. Oh, uh, well, no. Okay. No, this is no. uh this is the doctor. This is Don Corneo's boss. Wait, so who's the one that's changing shape then? I thought that's the, Don the one Corneo's was... boss. Oh, okay. So the boss is also the shape changer. Got yes, it. Yes, and this and these are all the forms you've met along the way. Cool. Cool. What? That one's a surprise. Huh. <coughs> Alright then. They could be living or could be dead currently. Interesting. And uh, the doctor plays into this how? Uh, he was ahead of Project uh, Trojan. Which, was, which is uh, what allowed Boss and Don Corneo to shapeshift. Which uh, um, is the very beginnings of uh, what ha how Project Trojan came to be, which is the beginning of Nelnir's 24s and Ling's birth. Gotcha. I feel like some of this was lore that existed before I came into the series at all that yes. I just missed. Yes, it is. Okay. The project relatively was... caught up now. What is the goal here? Do we want them dead, alive? I want them dead. Okay, Jesse wants them dead, but what about Gorm or Melnir? Sorry, Gorm has grapple. Melnir is the one. God, well, so Gore is more. done. Is completely done with this doctor. He wants the doctor dead. He is completely done with the doctor. So I can murder the doctor. Uh, Gorm was going to try and take the doctor prisoner. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> at least I understand what's going on now. I. Honestly, don't blame me. The Project T stuff was really hard to keep track of and follow. <laughs> well, thank you for filling me in. Apologies to anyone watching who had to hear that all twice.
No. I'm sure you want your baby. Go ahead. Right. Go and get Nyonya... your abomination. Nyonya kind of, like, holsters his weapon and, uh... Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Average kid noise. Average baby noise. Wah, wah, wah. Coughing baby! Versus Napalm Bomb. Uh, anyway. What? <laughs> it was a meme back then that I heard about. I don't think I've seen that one. I've seen just... a lot of fucked up shit. I think I need to look it up. Alright, you, you grabbed your baby. Hmm. Matrix is a little cat baby boy. With green hair. <laughs> nice. Huh. Excuse me. Well then, if that's it, I, I believe that's all our, our dealings now. I have gotten my vengeance. If you wish to kill me, then I guess we are going to have much more uh, difficulties here. Well, do you want to kill us? I have nothing against you. Cool, I don't really know you either. Do we hate him? Just like turning around looking at the group. Oh, get this man off of me in his rusty armor. I polish this every day. So oh, it does not I can not. see the rest that you can't then. Oh. <laughs> Jesse would power down and he gives a look of defeat because he, he could have saved the people. He couldn't save them. So what are we gonna do with this guy? If you kill me, there's just another one that will to get my dead. Okay, Everyone? but you'll be dead, right? Like your brain isn't gonna transplant, so it would still suck for you, right? It. Uh. Huh? Uh, what? Oh. Uh, if we kill him. Sure, another one could prop up, but is it the exact same person? Yes. Oh, oh no. okay. How dare you use reverse psychology against him? Throw an intimidate check. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. I don't have a great intimidate score, but uh. I don't. I don't believe you. Don't. You can't. You can't talk to me like this. Gorm I mean, I just did. Neck. Brings his face in close. Oh, I thought you said ripped his neck. I'm like, oh, ripped. I was just about to delete it. <laughs> uh, yes? You're going to tell us everything. And what if I don't? I hear you already know everything. Jalea starts swirling magic around her fingers. You ever hear of water lock? Yes, yes, yes. It's the ability that allows you just to breathe water. It is such a cruel ability that only murderous people use. Isn't that fun? Yes, it is. I've used it quite a lot. Oh, God. There's two, two people with this spell. Yeah, but I'm on your side. No, no you're not. You're not on my side. Not you. Actually, I'm talking to te Jesse. Technically, you are on my side of the room right now. Well, Gorm. all technicalities aside, you're indisposed. Okay. No, not yet. Give it enough time, you might dispose of me. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you're you're kind of you know, held in place. If it were to do water lines on him. Another one would just come out. Yes, but the other one won't be in the same place. It'll just... Let's just say my original body is elsewhere. Nice and oh. safe. Oh. Are we against torture in this group? Um, I'd rather not see it. I'd rather not see it either. I'm just a scientist looking for facts. 
Uh, I'm bored. Hi, bored. <laughs> Are you dad? No, but I can do some really funny dad jokes. <laughs> I mean, that's what I figured. But why, why torture me when you can c- collect all the gill in this entire facility? Isn't that right, number 24? Eh, sure, whatever. I, so, hold on a minute. Looks, looks over to the doctor. So you're saying your body is secure, your original one, right? Perhaps it is. Perhaps it isn't. Who knows? He's just looking at him up and down, up and down, getting a good feel on his key. I'm not <laughs> interested if that's what you're looking for. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a technique I'm still working on, but you'll be the first person to when I when I able to master it. Oh, would no, that motive not... allow me to tell if he's lying about where his body is? Well, he didn't tell you where his body was. Well, he said perhaps it's here, perhaps it isn't. Okay, yeah, go ahead. It's not here. Okay, good to know. Oh, you're one of those key people. I have keys in my left pocket, maybe that'll help. <laughs> He's funny. Gorm. Jalea, that is subjective. Look, nothing in this world makes sense, alright? I'm just trying to have a good time while I wait for my better half to be here. Speaking of which... I could just make you a better half. It'll Don't be the joke s- about that. It'll be the same one. And it'll stay here forever. There Pressure is no on one neck. else. It'll just be a clone. Clones are easy to manipulate. Pressure I am on looking neck. through my spells to see yeah, if that, I have uh, anything that can shut him up. Uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, the app. Uh, Rigby said pressure. He's putting pressure on his neck. And you can't do it. You want? During all of this, can I try to class change into um, white mage? Go ahead. Right. Is he? I, is I he going? I need a roll hundred. Yeah, I need a roll d hundred. Is is that is that man going? Yeah, he is. Fuck. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are we done What's here? He yeah, hold on. I gotta get the nun ears. Well, we can either dispose of him or. Alright, nun ear, you are now a soldier again. Crap. Can I try again while this is all happening? Sure. How many times can I do this? Uh, two more. Okay. Jalela? Yeah? Like I said, I got, good, I got a good read on your snake fidelity Akimbo. Uh, key. So. Oh. Ah. So what? So basically, in the near future, we can go to him. Blood Lily. Oh, nice. Okay. There we go. Meaning, we go to him. We could possibly try to fix... The reason why he's fading in and out, we can try to fix that. Well, that'll be good. But I mean, didn't the ancient lady say we have to figure out what's going on with your planet to get him back? Soldier is mastered. Nice. All right. Uh... At this point, from what I've seen from that shit, I can't trust that ancient anymore. Okay. Well, at any rate. At any rate, nothing here makes sense, and I just want... I just want to get through all this as fast as we can. As Nailnir finally class changed into uh, White Mage, he uh, tries to, I don't know, just shove both his hands onto the wound and try to cast Cure 4. If I can find it. Hold on. There it is. On who? 
on the guy that's like bleeding out, I guess. Well, who's bleeding so, out? I heard someone bleeding out, but no one's bleeding out. Okay. That I know of. He uh, used a pressure point on the guy. Oh. But I'm significantly hurt. <laughs> well, I guess I could ju just do it on him then. Probably not doing much, but. Yay. Look, so that'll not... probably, I don't know, tone down whatever pain you're having. Thank you. If there is. Look, if we're not going to do anything with this guy, can we just go and try and help the people who are still out there? I'm tired of being around weird, creepy scientists all the time. I mean, they're funny, sure, but, like, they're not very useful. Uh, tell us everything you know if you want to keep your life. Keep my life. If it doesn't keep my life, doesn't matter. What do you want to know? I'm glad to help uh, a person in need. How do we stop 24? Huh? Uh, just put a bullet in her head. So you're telling me... That... Well, how easy is that exactly? Surely. Yeah. You, know, you take a gun, you put these little cylinders in it called bullets. Then you no, that's not what I meant. I meant... Oh. I meant... She's clearly an evasive person. How do you get her in one place long enough? Well, first, you shouldn't let her go like you just did. Hey, that wasn't my decision. Well, she's probably yeah. not going to cause any more problems for a while. Oh, cool. For a while. Time. <sighs> Why did I study this again? But, uh, she seemed to have seized her vengeance, mostly. Uh, How much guilt? How do you stop 24? Well, she's probably the second strongest, uh... Are probably one of the strongest um well we did get a sample from matrix uh, she does have matrix's sample if she adds that to herself i don't know how much stronger she'll become i also don't know what the repercussions of that will be i can't imagine people staying alive would be one of the repercussions. Well, she's already uh, a Project T person. No, I mean, you guys just killed a lot of people doing what you're doing here. Oh, I didn't do Correct. anything. I didn't kill lots of people. I, The people I've accidentally killed by accident, if you could call them people, were just Project T specimens. They, they don't qualify as people. Wait, out of character... What the hell was that whole shit about the the weapon then? I'm confused. That, that, that was 24. That was 24 that was doing it. So, that was all 24. Yes. And so, okay, so what I'm saying is if 24 gets even stronger, isn't she just going to kill more people? Well, possibly. Why would you help her? Aren't you, Hume? You're not Hume, are you? I saw that, Cam. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to. Um, I don't know what I just did, honestly. It, it, uh... Roll 20 be acting really strange. I mean, not roll 20. <laughs> Discord, what the? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I like, um... I was trying to switch between Discord and roll 20... And I moused over something, and it just clicked the wrong thing. I don't know what I just clicked. The letter? Oh, my apologies, whatever you saw. <laughs> the letter. The letter. <laughs> Kim is now playing something letter. Something, something letter? <laughs> oh, cool. So, the uh, reason I... Um, by the letter Q. So, the reason I uh, 
decided to join her was I was intrigued that she survived the Mako uh, pit. Uh, we thought 23 and 24 both, uh, well, disintegrated when they fell into the Mako uh, vat uh, when they were, uh, when they tried to escape. But it turns out that only 24 escaped. But 24 and 23 merged into a single being. And I thought that was just incredible, so I had to do so, and Shinra was out to kill me anyway because they were trying to put a hush hush on Project Trojan after all of the uh, all the um, Trojan p samples became self aware and decided to work for uh, Shinra. So I decided to work with her and raise her as well, a, I guess a parent, but uh, as a scientific parent. So. I uh, brought her up as uh, and her sibling as in the same host to bring up an independent person, but then she had her own ideas, and then yeah, make she doesn't seem to support. respect you. Oh, I don't care if she respects me or not. I just here for the data. That might be your problem as a parent. Just saying. I'm not technically a parent. You just said you were a parent. Not Adoption biologically. Counts. Adoption counts. Yeah, pitch, I would know. Pitch posh. Mm, well. Well, <laughs> yes, uh, she did almost utterly destroy my entire being once, but <laughs> that was just an accident. Well, is that what they're calling it these days? That's why I have clones of myself. At any rate, Jesse, you got a key read on this guy, right? Mm-hmm. So, if we need to get rid of him later, we can track down his host, right? Oh, his host mm -hmm. body. How far mm -hmm. does your key read go? None of your business. I got a good sense of you, so once I get that... Anywhere. So, how does your key sense work? Why should I, I don't give him any more information, Jesse. Ah! I said, you know, I was gonna say, why should I tell you? Because you as a scientist, I am intrigued. It's well, not like my host can move anywhere. I'm currently stuck to a singular tank. Hmm. I cannot move at all. Literally. Where is this tank? Well, I will tell you about the facilities in. It's currently in a facility that is housed by a singular device and I am currently floating up and down and I am currently just a brain stem. Right, and, hold and, on. A, and a brain. Gorm you really out have no sense of self-preservation, do you? Well, I, I do have self-preservation because I'm currently making clones of myself. Uh, yeah, these, clones, like... these clones do not uh, have uh, a sense of will and they do not feel much pain other than would stop pushing on my neck they cannot uh, re they cannot create uh, children of their own and uh, I've gotten rid of the few that uh, well have decided to uh, well become independent We really just need to look for brains in jars, and we could destroy you. Yes. Good luck with that. I am not on this continent. Oh, oh. shit. Thanks for the tip. Hey! Makes it easier. Just gonna write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Thank you, DM. I doubt any of you can actually get to me. Gives him the, uh, okay, buster look. Have you doubt it so much? Prove it. Okay. None of you can he get to me. If, as long as you are currently on this planet. <laughs> you know. Interesting. Interesting. We're still gonna get to you. No, you're not. I'll see. We'll see you when we get there. 
How did you get off this planet? I have lots of connections. I know the rocket ship program wasn't going so well, right? She turns to confirm with her team. Uh, I... It was going very slowly. So I it, imagine so then how space would... travel was possible. I doubt there'd be a facility set up. They have a space station, and they also have the station up on Mars. So it's in one of those places. Shit. Interesting. You know what? Terminate four zero one. No, I don't. I, I don't want to. I don't know. Is it my turn? What? Gorm grapples a new doctor. God damn it! <laughs> it's just, I don't listen. I don't know what the other one. Ah! I yes. Take <laughs> no, no, where were we? Uh, Gil, how much do we have in this place? Now listen, as long as you're here, I am going to do as I please. Uh, well, throw I the doctor him. at the other doctor. <laughs> no, please. I don't want to be a part of that doctor. Just leave me alone. Uh, I was going to grapple the one that was leaving. No, no, leave me alone. As long as that doctor's in control, I'm in control of myself. I don't want to be any no, poor no, part come, of come that back. doctor. No, no, I, come back I, here. Are you come willing back. to help us then? Don't talk so loud. Okay, what do you want? Uh, that doctor ain't leaving. What other doctor? The one that just left the room. I said what I other doctor? Hold on. Is there another doctor running around? Terminate yeah. Doctor 4009, or whatever Doctor this is. Please, I don't want... Oh, one of them seemed to have gotten away. I... There. Hello Going somewhere. there, my dear. Would you please let me go, Pi? I have a million things to do. No, I don't think I will. See, my friends and I aren't done with you yet. Oh, that's a shit. Oh, hello. So, like I said, grabs him. Oh, before Grab you do that, I need you to make a will save. Okay. You oh, that's a bad roll. Well then, as you are gripping for your life, as you are drowning on air, I am going to walk this way. Um... He water long can long. I use hero points or something to give Jesse a chance to re-roll that? Or he look can. at my spells? Uh, huh? what, what spells do you have? Let's see, I'm looking. Let's Jesse, see. do you Let's have talk. a hero point? I do. Uh, you have two rounds until you're dead. One, I should have Alter Fortune. Here we go. Oh, you have uh, Alter Fortune? one creature oh, to re-roll any <laughs> die roll. Oh, wait, you have a uh, Temporal Hiccup, too, don't you? Yep, um, she is a time I mage. do, I believe. Where is that? That was just a bad roll. That was just a bad roll. I don't see Temporal Hiccup, but I do have... Uh, Altered Modes Fortune. Yeah, modes of, it's Modes of Time. Oh, that's in the Modes of Time. Yeah, it's... Um... Oh! It's no. named weird. Okay, well, either way, he can re-roll that will save. Alright, re-roll your will save. If for a moment you're, you're gasping for air, and then suddenly you don't catch for air. Well, then, if well, you'll excuse me, as you're gasping for air... Grab him. What, uh, what the? So, let's go talk to our big friend. But oh, drives him and just like gonna pull him towards Gorm. And I continue to kind of flank. Come on. So, <laughs> so. You know what? <laughs> this guy gets it. Can I? Can I? You know what? You no, know he attacked me. You know what? 
uh, die. Peeks out the door, looks around. I noticed that, yeah. Oh, really? He just looks around. And is like, I'm gonna stay back. Ah! <laughs> now then, where was I? Where's your brain? Damn it. Gorm just pushes past him and goes station. into the room <laughs> that he keeps coming out of. <laughs> That's a great idea. Alright, one second. I got I got I gotta get the um thing. J J Jalea, I hit him with the why I ought uh, a gun. <laughs> DM. Please don't let him see us. Please, <laughs> please keep the main body alive and just let us go free. Go on, what are keep you him as live as long as possible. And they all shake their head at you and put out their hands for a rest. Are you willing to help us if we do this? We do not have his. Uh, we do not have his memories. But you have his intelligence, do you not? We do not have his intelligence. We do not have anything of his except his Nazi clothes. And what are you? We're just clones. Uh, I... We're just clones, Why and do you he hops. Exist? He hops. Wait. Are you talking to my clones? No. Shut up. Forehead. <laughs> Shut up, forehead. You're talking to us. Detonate to the sample. Yeah, I grab his mouth before he says anything. Yeah. Well then, Gorm. Gorm. Please move. Fine. Listen, my samples do not <clears throat> have any whales of their own. Excuse me, I have things to do. Punch. Oh my Looks god. Oh my god. He's Looks. knocked out. Looks We're free. Over. Looks over to the rest. We'll do anything you want. I want to sense motive of that one. I want to sense motive of that one. You believe him. Norm, help, with your... help us stop 24. Okay, we'll do, we'll do whatever you want. We don't know where our brains, or where his brain's location is. We don't know anything about 24. We'll try to help him best as we can. First off, we need to look for survivors. First off, we need to loot this place. I mean, because it's Corneo's place. Yeah, go look at them. It says, well, we are going to You are going to go look You at need all place. the hands you can get. Oh, and tie him up somewhere. And keep him alive. We don't want to train change into him. Yeah, no problem. Right. Pulls out rope. Understood. Pulls out bar of soap. <laughs> you really want to use that soap, huh? It is the best gag for people that we hate. I'm more scared of the guy in the armor. Yeah, I've been seeing him pull out the soap a lot. Why are we holding our arms up like this? Well... It right. looks like we're duelists. Let's see. I play Exodia! No! It's like, we don't allow that card game in this world! Yo, Exodia! Get rid of that! It can't it's be! A... No! Oh. Alright, I'll pick up this kill. Alright, I'll loot this chest. We'll give everything to these people. And, oh, blindfold him so he can't see us. Good, uh... Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Um... Oh god, I hate her voices. Why, you know, why couldn't he create clones that sounded better? Because he's <laughs> cheap and lazy? No, he is not cheap. Let me phrase that. Lazy. He created he clones. How is that lazy? Uh, because he's a fucking scientist. Being a scientist yeah, is... Jesse, 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 I think... I think he just has a fucked up sense of humor. Which I, for mm. one, appreciate. No offense. But, uh... 
Yeah, he probably just made you guys sound like shit for kicks. Damn, you're really at him. <laughs> Julia puts hand on shoulder. I think you. I think you demotivated him. Uh, remember. Remember, Mr. Jesse, Jaleo is taken. All yeah. Right, let's keep, keep gathering I'm, stuff. I'm a friend. All right. What else? I'm moonwalking. Oh. Uh, wow, you weren't you. Hee hee. I just. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna find a piece of cloth and blindfold this motherfucker. I'm just gonna go keep an eye on the clones, just in case. Yeah. Don't send in the clones. Alright. Hey, I'm, I'm just gonna hang out with you, Mr. Clone. Okay. Just in case. So, we're gonna loot. I assume we're, really, we're gonna loot the entire place. Alright, it'll take you a couple hours to loot the entire place. Nice. I already have your loot table ri or rolled up for you. Thank you. Yo, out of character. There's a bed here, and a bunch of shit on it. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! J hey, Wait. I can't help the. Uh, I can't help with the maps generate. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, that's not appropriate, my guy. No, it's it's an important note. Okay, the doctor was living here as well. No, he wasn't. What were the doctor and Don Corneo doing? <laughs> Taking notes, of course. What else would they be doing? Oh, sweet summer child. Because <laughs> right there, those are a paper and a quill. Okay? Yeah, next to tiny squares that could be square packets. You don't know. No, they're, <laughs> they're, they're notepads, ex at first of all. <laughs> Who needs many notepads? Hey, Doctors man. do. I'm not a doctor. I don't some... know. Seems sus to me. Seems... Oh my god. He has sticky notes everywhere. Sticky yeah, notes, sticky. huh? I wonder why they're sticky. They, they oh. stick on thing. Oh, you sweet summer child. <laughs> we realized that, that much of that was out of character. I said out of character. She did. I don't know what happened to my uh, camera. Mm. Oh, it got so tired Nick, of looking at oh, us. Oh, both Nelmir and Gormer. Oh, so just us two, Julia. Oh, cool. All right. Was, well, we we'll Oh no, I'm back. <laughs> I just, I just realized my um, camera stopped working, <laughs> and it sh oh, only showed uh, an empty we're, chair. We're, we're loading in the place. Yeah. And Are we spent have about three hours doing so. You, yeah. No, you spent about six hours doing so. Six hours? Night. What happened to three hours? I said a few hours. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said three. I guess in my head a few is three. Okay. Holy shit! That's a lot of... That's a lot of... Yeah. Holy moly! That's a Jesus. lot of C4. That's a lot of C4. Fucking Christ! That's a lot of gill. That is a lot of gill. There's a Nearly, lot of smoke pellets and tear gas. A lot of, uh, almost a million gill you find. Mm. With two Shinra tanks? Wow, oh, Jesus. No. Why don't we just buy a new planet at this rate? You have That's enough it. to buy an airship right now. Oh. Hey, Gorm. Honestly, airships are way cheaper than this. Gorm, you find two what? tanks. Yeah, I saw. I'm back by the way. You find nearly a million gill, and what, by the time you sell everything, <coughs> you'll probably have at least a million and a half. <coughs> oh, oh Jeez. God, you good? She yeah, works I'm with kids. Over yeah, she oh. works with kids. One time, by the time you're healthy again, one kid comes into your classroom and goes, <coughs> and then you know you're well, doomed. That's true. This is actually Eric's fault. He's the one who came home with this cold and passed oh. it on to me. But he works with fires. He can't be work. He can't be working with colds. Oh. He's a firefighter paramedic. He works with sick people. In so fires. Yes. 
Yo, why that, were that you... means they can't catch colds. They only have to catch fevers. Oh, you know, that. Was he wearing his safety equipment? Huh? Was he wearing mask and gloves? I mean, yeah. All right. So you're ready for the bad news? I hit it. The uh, as you're uh, searching for stuff, as you're just cl finishing up, the whole place starts to shake massively, and parts of the mansion start to fall down. Uh oh. When you get out, the shaking stops, and you hear a massive. Where? I look. Around. Where is it? You just you see nothing but dust. Did we just summon Godzilla? Did we just? <laughs> Well, I, I was actually going to ask what knowledge check to determine what those materia we found are. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Spellcraft. By the spellcraft? way. Spellcraft? Oh. Oh. Oh, no! That's... That's... <laughs> Why is there a movie weapon there? I don't think it's Ooh, pleasant that, music that's to not be good. <laughs> it's, just, it's just Bobby, like, just hype music. That just calm music while there's a fucking... Uh... Guy, guys? Radiation level 8 everywhere. More like weapon everywhere. Look! Do we need to get out of town? Because I can do that. Like, right now. Going, what's the call? I can't leave my family behind. We can grab them, too. I've got enough mana. I can just, uh, bend space and time greater twice. Well, we so should start. we grab your family and get out of Dodge? We'll have to grab a lot more people. I don't know if we can get everybody. I can't do everything. But... There's a cat going for help. Leaving? Yes. It, it left. Don't worry. Don't worry.
changing of seasons This is a satellite view of Midgar. Yeah, no, I got that. Currently, sector... But I figure it was huge enough we'd be able to see it leave. Uh, you're currently in Sector 5 slums. So, all you see is dust. Oh, okay. And you're blocked out from the plate view. Let's... Look, Let's we can get... either grab some people and get out, or grab no one and die here. I know we want to save everyone. I get that. But this isn't the time to piddle over how many we can save. Fine. We just gotta do something. Take us to the Mystic Sanctuary. Okay. <laughs> If only All right. had... The Mystic Sanctuary is completely fine. Looks like Kilisandra oh. applied another uh, uh, beam to uh, Sector 4 Outer Plate. Cool. You know, it's quite, um, how, how do I say this to contemplate? Comp you're nice to have, is what I'm trying to say. Glad I can help. All right. All right. Now, Lear, go yeah. find Ling. Yeah. Jesse, take the Vaughn clones and try to round up survivors. I, so... Alea, come with me. On it. All right, Vaughn clones. Grabs them both. Il Ilva, get the car. Uh, ugh, fine. Right, uh, but the roads what? are a disgrace. So there's nothing, nowhere to drive. We still need the car. The, the car's out of the way in sector five. Damn it! We just teleported here. Ugh! No, why am I always doing? Young is just gonna go try to find Ling on on his own. He's gonna class switch into a uh, thief. I mean, I guess I could pop back and look for the car, but I don't know if I can teleport it with me. DM, can I teleport the car with me? You can only teleport yourself and other people. Yeah, I can't teleport cars. Question, DM. Yes. How heavy is the car if I were to lift it? 
uh, like 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds, huh? Damn it! Damn it! I can't lift it! Alright, uh, but yeah. Also, uh, one point lifting it, you might fold it in half. It might not work afterwards. One point and there's no place to really grab it. Mm. Hey, you know what I like that just occurred to me? We apparently got two Shinra tanks and teleported them with us, no problem. But the car, that's an issue. You didn't teleport the tanks with you. Then how'd we, we get them? You left them behind. But you said we got all the loot. You got the loot, but... The tanks, because greater, greater space time only could take... I, uh, my so ba basically, we took everything else, but not the tanks. Yes. So. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Oh, no. We're gonna... Have to go back. What sector was it? Five. I can take us there. I know what it looked like. I don't think Melmir's here. Yeah, we're yeah, but from from the disaster, how many points? Basically, Jesse's gonna use flash step and go towards the if there's any living creatures. There's living creatures all over the place. They're currently all dying from uh oh uh, well, they're the sanctuary is currently uh everybody's having a difficult time breathing. Those Radiation things. levels are currently slowly rising from uh, Mako Reactor 4 and 5 exploding. We're gonna try to get. Uh -huh. So, we're gonna meet back there and have Jalela just teleport us out of the city? Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. Alright. I'm gonna try to get as many people as I can DM. Okay. How often oh. can you do this? Uh, it, I can do this because it only spends one uh, one point of key. Uh, uh, how can often can you do this? How much key do you have left? 21. How much key do you have total? Oh, wait, no. In total, 30. What I have left is 21. Alright. And how many people can you teleport? Uh, it's like Dimension Door. All right, how many people can you teleport? Uh, I can other ch uh, touch other. One additional willing, medium, or smaller creature, or its equivalent per three caster levels. So since he is level twelve. 13. Uh, 13. He will oh, wait, be no, no. able to get yeah. four passengers at a time. Alright. So you get 84 people. Alright. And I'm just going to put my key where I have all the way to zero. Yep. Right. And you're out of key. Where do you put them? Where we're supposed to meet up. Where are you meeting up? Gorm. <sighs> Just outside the walls is enough for now. Safe enough distance so the radiation won't get people. Alright. There you have so, it, yeah. like, outside of Edge. Yes. Edge is the city outside of Midyar. Mm. Now, this is interesting. I don't see any note of how many people I can take with me when I do bend space and time greater in the description here. Uh, post it? She already did. I did. Go, go above a flash step. 
Oh. It functions like bend space and time. Yeah, we have to see bend space and time. Let me uh, look it up. Okay. Let me. I got it. I got it. I'm bringing it up. We're being big heroes. Bring one additional. Uh, Bring one additional willing medium or small creature or equivalent for three cash levels. Same thing as his. Okay. So about four people. Alright. And I... Mine costs seven MP and I... Currently have, I believe, 121. Let me look. Yeah, 121. So let me do some quick math here. How many times does 7 go into 100? Let's see, your oh, 121, two. but what's greater do? So I could go on about 17 trips. If I use all of my MP. So that's 68 people. Okay. Uh, and that has to include us, correct? Yep. So subtract us from that. And let's get out of here. And I'll put my MP to zero. Hey, uh, Gorm, are you going to bring your uh, family with you as well? Yes. His and family are included in the people I take. In fact, consider any requests from the team of people I take as part of the group. Alright, so... Between the two of you, you take about a hundred people outside of town with you to Edge. Only a hundred? I thought he got eighty-four and I got sixty-eight. At about that's a little over a hundred people. Eighty-four plus sixty-eight is like a hundred fifty-ish. One hundred forty. One hundred fifty-two. Oh my god! Hold on. <laughs> we can get that many people out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, see? Told you 150 ish. Yeah, a little over 100, yeah. A little under 200. It's half. <laughs> oh my god. Will. <laughs> anyway. We should probably see if Kilachandra wants to leave. Kilachandra will st wants to stay behind to uh, keep on evacuating people. I can assume we got the people out. Well, we'll have that. All 152. All 152 that we could manage. Where was Nelnir in all of this? Because I was trying to find Ling. Oh, you weren't saying anything. What? That whole time? Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, you were quiet I'll the take... entire time. Yeah, because like, care of this now. Because Gorm did tell me, uh, or at least ordered me to go find Ling. So. Uh, yeah, you find Ling, uh, and uh, at Sector Two, um, 
was just waiting for my turn, so... Sector 2 is... Oh. Okay, Sector 2 slums is here. Sector 2 plates, outer plate is destroyed. Yeah, you find uh, Ling and she's... Uh... Ling is turning off the music because it's too happy. <laughs> Uh, she's rushing around trying to get everybody to safety because uh, her first job is is of a Turk, and uh, she agrees to go with you instead because uh, she also takes uh, Pop Pop with her. Uh, when after you teleport out, she says, "I think it's in best interest if Matrix is watched over by uh, Pop Pop or Doctor Gast mm. in a, sec a secure location, probably in not neither Midgar nor Neo Midgar, probably someplace else." <clears throat> now that she knows Twenty Four is still alive. All right, so we She's drive like, the tanks and car out to Edge. The tanks Sorry, have no. a radiation uh, buffer against them. Whatever it is outside, like uh, six, it will be four levels lower inside. We can... So you're going to be going around probably this love this uh, reactor or this reactor to get outside because this one's on the ground right now. Also, that is a mighty deep hole. This is an inoperative time to get a headache. Oh. Oh, who left? Uh, oh, excuse me. All right, you guys arrive at Edge, and uh, people at Edge are wondering what happened. Oh. Okay, hold on. You're going to have to forgive me for, for asking this. Are the people there, um, are they feeling on Edge? Oh, my. <laughs> Sorry, had to ask. Anyway, go on with yourselves. You provoked the cat, how could you? <laughs> I'm a... Jesse's tired because he has to exhaust all of his key and he just... Yep. Very tired. Yeah, no, as soon as we get there, I start... Hold on, do I have an ether? If so, I'm gonna start chugging it. Uh, check your communal bag of holding. Yep, that's that's what I'm trying to do. You said ether, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have two high ethers, four ethers. Yeah, We're you... only taking. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll just take an ether since I don't want to actually do too much damage to uh. Our our loot and I assume we'll get a long rest soon enough. But realistically, she's at zero MP. She wants to have something. Um, and ether is. What's the roll for that? Let me check. 
An ether, a regular ether is 1d6 plus 1. Okay. Oh, that's not how you do it. Is it slash R? Yeah, it's, slash R. Slash uh, R, 1d6 plus 1. Well, you don't need to put the 1 before it if it's just 1. You have to. You do? Oh. No, you don't. She got 6 MP back. Whoa! Yeah, she can go back and do it again. Oh, no, she can't. That's 6. You're... Yeah, no, I would need 7. But also, look. I'm tired. I just don't want to be caught without anything on me. I... I need a rest. I, I hella need a rest. Yeah, me too. All right. At I edge, feel bad though. Uh, people Much are just. As I enjoy causing damage. I mean, these people don't deserve it. Uh, at edge, uh, people are uh, slowly taking in the people that are um, just arriving, and there is uh, apparently slowly more vehicles on the way. And Ling looks at her phone, it's just like, currently we're up to 7.2 million dead. Not a good number. What would be a good number down here? I'm sorry. Zero. Yes. Well, except for those jerks who caused this. So, like, Two. what, Five? Five? I don't know, I'm guesstimating the awful people who caused this. I want to get my hands around 24's neck. <laughs> this is on the ground. He says, I agree! What if I had known what was going on, I would have water uh, her there. The cat's messing with my uh, divider, so... The one right here, the wall. So, they're climbing on top of it. As we speak. Yo, tell the cat no. Just say no. They're kittens, aren't they? Uh, kind of. They're six months. <laughs> They'll understand. No, like they I was gonna say, yeah, just say no to cats, kids. Forget the drug campaign. Just say no to cats. <laughs> I say as my cat is snoozing so nicely next to me. <laughs> I'm just like, one day, I'll cat caught you lacking. <laughs> You can't be slick on with me. <laughs> nope. Oh, um, there's actually a chart you have to roll for uh, Ben space and time. Oh well, too late. Yeah. Wait, what about? She used greater. Also, right? wait, no, I used greater. Greater can't fuck up unless oh, really? you don't know where you're going. Yes, there is no chance you arrive off target. You need not have seen the dish destination, but in that case, you must have at least a reliable description of the place. You... But you didn't have a <laughs> description at all. But I'd been to... Um... Whatchamacallit? Gorm would have told her about Edge and given her a description of the place. Okay. And I've been to... to Whatchamacallit before? The... The calm place that we were at in the town. The calm place? At the sanctuary, was it? Oh, yeah. I know you've been to the sanctuary, yes. Yeah, so that I could teleport to easily. And Edge, obviously, if not Gorm, I could have gotten a description from one of the townspeople. That's not an issue. Yeah. All right. So, now that you're here, it comes down to the, what are you doing next? I mean, Sleeping. 24 is definitely an issue, but... You know what I'm gonna do? What's that? Go ahead. After I rest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna join Ling, and we're gonna go, and we're gonna go end this 24 person. She you don't know where much. 24 is. We'll and even if it. we did know, there might be bigger fish to fry. Like the... You wanna save lives? Look, I'm all for mayhem. But 
She gotta go. Yeah, but Which isn't you... the whole point of what you guys wanted us to do to to save people. You spend all this time hunting one person down. The weapons are still out there. I mean, I'm not really solid on Jesse's idea on chasing down 24. I, I really didn't pick a side yet, but judging by instinct of my own, seeing how well uh, numbers are increasingly high, and um, apparently there's weapons out there, like you said, I think it's best. No, not think. I think it's a solid guess that I think it's best is uh, we just hunt down these weapons instead of 24. 24 is probably somewhere impossible to reach, but these weapons, they're big. They can be seen. They can be heard. Why not hunt them down so they don't wreck any more havoc? Look, if the only way that I get Abda back is if we get rid of these weapon things and return the world to balance then you better damn well believe that that's what I want to focus on. And we order, all do. And in order for that to happen, you need to go to the temples first. Alright. Then we need to go to these temples. Oh. The oh, that's right. You talked about that the previous time, didn't you? There was an issue with going to some of them or something? Can you refresh my memory? Uh, Matrix was kidnapped. Right, but wasn't was... there an issue with, like, physically going to some of these places, like, danger-wise? Uh, one's underwater, if that helps. Right, right, okay. I some mean... of them are in Wu-Tai, like these two. Mm -hmm. What were the two easy ones we talked about? Well, it's uh, the ones over this here. one. Oh. And this one. Then I think we should focus on those for the moment. Forget 24. I mean, that wasn't really initially the plan, but it's more of uh, Jesse's own, so. But how are we supposed to get over there? I I'm not sure if we have any other form of transportation that are still intact. Do we, we have can... a reliable description? Let me check with the Turks. Yes? Do we have any reliable eyes on the temples? Um, well, you talked to us a few hours ago about this, uh, about a day ago, and we are still getting ready to dispatch, and then this just happened, so our, so half of our eyes are going towards the temples, and the other half are going to, towards, uh, getting everybody to safety in Midgar. All right. Uh, we haven't actually gone, we actually haven't fully dispatched out. Ask them if they'd be able to get a small team out to each location just to to get a verbal description of what the place looks like. Can we get a verbal description of the, the area looks like at each temple? We can use magic to instantly transport our strike team there. Okay. Oh, just like that. Right. Well, that's one problem solved. Uh, what what do we, what are we what are you guys gonna do until then? I'm just gonna wait, because a lot of these we've places got, have to be hunted down. Uh, we've got yeah, some well, survivors. And don't forget, Jesse and I too. both need to refill our mana and key by resting. Yes, but a lot of these places that are apparent, nobody has ever seen temples in these areas. Okay, but we know the surrounding area, at least. We can get near and hunt. Jesse, Jalea, you two take it easy. Okay. Falls uh, back on his back. Midgar is currently at a, at a ceasefire and uh, non-disclosure with uh, the Northrend, so we do not have any grounds to go to Northrend. That would all be you. The, um, the one up at uh, Snowcloak in that area, we have no way of getting to reliably. Uh, a lot of our airships were destroyed at the airbase. Nelnir. Yeah. Do you remember anywhere in Northrend? 
Kind of like squints. Could I try to reminisce or? You can try to reminisce. Give me a knowledge history on yourself. All right. Uh, I, I need to go uh, find my sheets again. Hold on. Oh, wait, it's all up here. Yep, there it is. Uh, unfortunately, Nelnir is not in faced, so he's gonna try. Knowledge history? Yes. This is on yourself. Uh, you can't seem to... Oh, you're still Blood Lily. Okay. Yeah. You have a sense of a spring-like area surrounded by nature and other things. And then just as time goes by, you're currently underwater. Like, literally? Yeah. You feel like you're in the same area. You see the temple clearly. And now you're completely underwater. And now it's completely frozen underneath the water. Now it's fine. You feel like you're watching it as time goes by. Does it come to the point where everything's a uh, more normal speed? Yeah. Like presently? No. No. Not with a tent. I'm gonna be honest. It. I. I don't know. I. I. It's, 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 I don't know how to say it, but it's incomprehensible to describe what I just thought of about Reverend. Kind of like scratched the back of my head. You're pretty sure that the Northern one is incorrect, and you're thinking of the Ocean Temple. That was once above land and then was flooded. Shit, yeah. Sorry, Gorm. I don't remember a thing. Gorm? Say again? Sorry, Gorm, but I don't remember a thing. Uh, I suppose it's too much to hope for. Maybe we can find some way of scrying on the location magically. I don't know. I'm going to take one of the tanks back into Midgar, see if I can round up some more survivors. Uh, quick question, DM. I still have the, um, I don't know what we call it, or I call it, but it's the one that's like an entire town in a bag of some kind. I still have it in my inventory. Entire town in a bag? Yeah, like, we, we had a little, like, I think a long time ago oh. that Nelnir picked up a bag that kind of, like, transported him into a, a town, an empty oh, town. Oh, yeah! Yeah, you have I an, think I still have you, that. You have a town in a bag. Yeah. It just doesn't have know. any food or water in it. Mm. It needs supplies. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just kept it. Is Ling still around, or is she left? Ling's still around. She's uh, with the, uh, your kid. I'm going to head over to Ling. Interact with her a bit. Um, <clears throat> Ling? Hey, if you... Yes? Never mind. Um, I have something to give you. It's um, not really, uh... But no, now's not the time. Uh... No, no, it's not like that. Oh, like, oh, it's oh. more of... It's not really useful for me, but I kind of, like, go around in my, um, pouch and kind of, like, hand this, um, bag to her. Okay, she goes... She, uh, opens it, puts her hand in there, and then she's gone. No! Oh! oh. You just hear, no. what? You open um, the bag and you hear, ah! uh, Is Matrix still here? Nope. 
Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh. Well, draw Mo, I guess. Put wow. your, you put your hand in the bag, and then you fall in, too. And on the other side, there's just a doorway. And you happen to see Ling there with her butt up in the air. I was, um. <laughs> I was supposed to warn you about that. I was feeding Matrix. S Sorry. I, I guess I just interrupted in the wrong time. But I, I guess you... I, I twitch. suppose you knew... Uh, now you know about this. It's this, an entire... This is an amazing idea. We can uh, yeah. bring in food, supplies, and then just put everybody in a bag. This, yeah, just, this actually sounds like an awful idea. Pro it's, it's more of a rendezvous in a way, in case of evacuations. That's what I, that's what my idea is of giving it to you, because I have no use for this. I have no idea what uh, Phantom is saying now that he's muted. But um. You can make use of this place. Um, you could try to find some things here around, because I never explored this much before, so I only explored around this area. Maybe you could find uh, inhabitable land for crops or something. I don't know if there's grass around here. What is that in the sky? It looks blue. It looks like a blue sun. There's. And the grass is blue, and the trees are blue. Is this edible food? It pulls down a, a pear, and the pear is blue swirled with red. She tosses you one. It's your world. You might as well try it. I guess. Well, bon appetit? I guess? Alright, you replenish all of your mana if you're missing any. Bring me some. Hey, yo. What about Key, though? <laughs> well, unfortunately, Nelnir is not quite a... more of a magic caster, more, more like a marshal <laughs> than Luana. Well, currently you're what? a healer, so... Yeah. What about... what about Key? No uh, key. Nope, there, no there key. appears to be a, a ring of keys on the ground, too. Key, as in K-I, not K-E-Y. No, there seems to be a ring of K-E-Y-S on the ground. The keys? I... Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> like an actual key lying down like, here. Like, like an actual key. I was like, key, not keys, key! How do my beam attacks? Alright, there's one key on the ground. Oh, Dude, there's not going to be fruit for you. I'm sorry. There's no fruit I... for you. It, it replenishes hit points and uh, MP here. <laughs> How many is there? Uh, th there's These trees are everywhere. Oh. Well, I'm they replenish HP, right? And as soon as you pull the fruit, it seems like it, another fruit re replaces it almost immediately. Todd, no. Todd, toss me the fruit. Mm. At least I can get my HP back. And you feel fully You're not satisfied, in the bag. too. Oh, I'm not in the bag. That ah, you silly. Anyways, well, he needs to bring it back for us. I suppose this it's just laying on the ground a, right now. Yeah, I suppose this could be a form of a infinite source of food. I'm not sure about in terms of nutrition wise, but yeah, I guess that checks that out. So um. You can do whatever you want here. I'm going to leave the bag to you. I'm getting out. Okay. So is that is that a no deal? No, let's bring people in here. Oh, okay. You know, they have houses here and everything. We can bring people in here for the time being. Yeah. Just hope the bag outside isn't like, you know... Let's just hope the bag food. doesn't eat people. Hmm. You do know how to get out, right? Nope. Okay. Um, you still have the bag? What Wait. bag? Damn, how do I get out? There's a doorway there. Oh, yeah, right. Thanks. <laughs> Only you can see it. 
All right. Uh, now, near, how do we get out? Wait, you don't see the door? What door? Oh that my door. god! Um, come on, I'm gonna grab a. I'm grab the hands of Lane for a sec. Kind of like go over to the door. What are we standing here for? Here's the door. I'm Here's going to, There's nothing I'm gonna, here. I'm gonna open it. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. Okay. You're opening uh, something here. I don't see anything. I kind of like furrow my brows. I'm gonna go past the doorway, the door frame. Okay. And, uh, Did anything happen? You're both outside. Okay, I, I, I suppose there's uh, something that we need to worry about is the door. I don't know how I can perceive it, but you don't. I didn't see anything. Yeah, and I saw the door and we went through it. And I think that... um. This might pose a problem if I'm not there with you or anyone inside this bag. Just 
Let's let's yeah. start shoving people in the back. Huh? <laughs> uh, who's who's first though? I mean, we already did. I have an other. idea. Yeah. Hey, Phantom! I found pills that replenish your key. <laughs> he sticks your hand in the bag. There's one. They're not gonna be scared of all of this, right? Like, yeah, you know, he should be fine. Random strangers wakes up. You're in a blue world. What the? F but it's fine. You see a doorway in front of you. Oh, okay. Any fruit? Quite hard to There's blue trees with blue and red fruit. I just take the fruit. I'll take. I take one. I'll take the red fruit. It's blue and red fruits. Oh, blue and red. My bad. I'll take one of the fruits and just eat it. All right. You feel fine. Yay. Nothing happens. No, no, no replenish of HP. You, you replenish your HP. Thank you. But no key. Damn. Nope. You I replenish your HP and MP. Man. At least I have MP that I haven't used yet. It's like. And it's sweet. And it feels like you replenish uh, your. Your hunger has been sad, uh, <laughs> satisfied for at least a couple of days. Hmm. Not a ripoff from uh, going to hell, a home of infinite lo losers, or anything. <laughs> it's like, hmm. after done, he's like, sees the door and she's like, "Go out! I'm gonna open it." All right, you go outside. <gasps> looks around. Looks yeah, you can see it because you are uh, a Sentra. Nick can see it because he's part Sentra. Like, One of his alter egos is part Sentra. Is Sentra. I'm, I'm out of the bag, right? I just want... I don't know if you're out of the closet or not. Huh? Alright, moving on. Huh? Wait a minute! Uh, everybody, uh, 
you go when you guys go back to town in the tank <laughs> you, you see it? you see Lane there uh, going over to people and putting people's hands in the bag and they just start disappearing she's just putting people's random into the bag and then you start seeing people pop out of the bag but the only people that are popping out of the bag are non humes all the humes are staying in the bag wait so we just have to launch this bag into space and we're good what it's oh. a it's a limited bag. How many people can we fit in it? Maybe about a thousand. Oh, uh, we need a lot more bags to put on that rocket ship. You don't then. know where this bag came from. I know. Wait, it's wait, a shame. Wait. So only non. So just just look at us. He's gonna walk up to Nick. Who's My Nick? I mean, Nelmir. Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? Nelmir. It's yes? Do like, you know that bag has a door? Yeah. I do. And only non humes are going out? No, I haven't heard of that. A, a pan. Hmm. And what are you playing? playing? It keeps you uh, completely full for up to one week. Week. Oh. What I'm saying is like, okay, I'm a Hume. I saw a door. I can go out, do because yeah. of etc. No, you don't know that. Uh, I don't know. That. I just know that I can see a door. Yes, so you I are not fully aware. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, okay, I see a door. <laughs> Shut up! Like, <laughs> oh, that was hit on the head. I, jeez, leave me alone, guys. Jeez. <laughs> saw What's a door. the fun in to... that? Saw door, went through it, <laughs> and and now after seeing the non-humes going out, apparently humes can't get out of the bag. From what I'm seeing right now, no mirror. Hmm. You zoned out, didn't you? Yeah. Basically, I'll put it as a non-humes going in the bag can get out. Humes go in the bag, they can't get out. So what are you implying? That non humes can only exit out of the bag. Yeah. The mouse trap. And and the humes cannot. Yes, I know that Jesse. What are you implying? Are you saying that we can that some like a like how do I say this? That only non humes are special people like you? I mean, you came out of that bag, so you're not really a non-hume, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm a standard human. Yeah. Right. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Be, be, do your detective work. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is the problem here, or at least how? what's causing this? I don't know. That's why I thought you know. I don't know either. Well... We sh Do you know where how you got this bag? What's the origin? No, I don't. I don't remember a single thing, other than its properties. You got it at the um, at the f at the factory. The there E factory. <laughs> the where I you were born now. and raised. Oh, damn! I, I I really hope that's a false memory, but it isn't. But, um, yeah, I'm going to say that to him. Thanks, Jim. He just stops, looks at you. So you found it in a factory that you were born and raised in. Am I getting this right? Yes, and I don't want to talk about being raised in there in the first place. We're born, actually. Please. I'll keep that in mind. But, uh, so turns around and walks away. Okay. Just flabbergasted at this point. <laughs> hmm. What to do? Yeah, I really can't think of anything. I might as just well wait for something good to happen. So, hey, DM. Yes. Can from all this, can we sell the stuff we just got? 
like not all of it, but half of it. Where, where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? So what? The loot we just got. What loot? Uh, the ones that you know, we uh from Don Corneo's manor. Sure, just uh just bring it up and I'll I'll look it over. Okay. Where is it? I'll go party stuff, go battle spoils, and you, and it's gonna be there. Oh, I thought you lost it. I think we only lost the tanks. Yeah, I just yeah. drove one of the tanks back into the city. Yeah. Fuck. You Man, uh, collected I... a thousand people and then you headed back out. You dumped the people after they got their fill, fill full and then uh, probably keep going back and forth. Oopsie daisies. Let's wait for Gorm so he, he, he knows the prices of these. But the question is, why so much fucking C4? Well, actually, if we're going over that stuff, I'd like to uh, do a spellcraft check on uh, the materia. Materias. Yeah. Well, material. materia is plural. Material. <laughs> no. All right. There's 27 of them. So, DM, do I have to do 27 spellcraft checks? Yes. All right. I guess I better get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. You know, every, 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 oh my 22, god. 23, 24, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27. Oh, we you know, hit the 27 mark. You know, every, every time you keep, keep like increasing the number, you go, your mic quality just go, goes beyond shit. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> oh, man. So, how many of them do I figure out, DM? All of them. Sweet. Huzzah! High five. High five. It is quite fortunate that we don't use the nat 1 and nat 20 rule. What do you mean? That's... You do use no. the nat 1 and nat 20 rule. Oh, shit. My bad. But in skills, it doesn't work. It, it, nat 20 and nat 20 rule doesn't apply with Pathfinder. Oh, shit. All this time I did, I've been doing this on my uh, campaign. Hey, now you know. Yeah, that one, that yeah. uh, one on skills uh, is just a one. It doesn't auto fail. Okay. Well. And that twenty doesn't auto succeed. So, uh, but uh, that the more you know, that being so, the case, twenty six of the materia uh -huh. are fire, water, wind, lightning, ice, and earth. And what about the 27th? The 27th is slash all. Ooh. That works Wait. for anybody except for Phantom. Woo! Because it's slash all. Yeah, I'll slash with these kicks. Yeah, I don't really do slashing either. Probably not going to work well for me. Abda! It can work. Wait, Abda. Uh, it cannot work for Abda because he has double cut. Gorm! It can work for Gorm. It can work for D Gorm. While attached, while uh, uh, attached to a weapon, this allows the user to use a full round action to to single attack every enemy within sixty foot foot of them. Roll an attack for each separately. Oh fuck! That might invalidate. Uh, uh, actually. I do have Brand of the Sultan. That might not do quite as much. Nelnir, would you want this? I think he has double cut. Oh. You know... Jalea. What's the material called? Double cut? 
No, slash, slash all. all. I need to look that up. Uh, what about Jill? We could give it to a Jill. Actually, a Jill might benefit from this. No, he has his uh. Long no, spear. That's one. It's a piercing weapon. While attached to this weapon, this allows the user to use a full round action to single attack every enemy within 60 feet of them. You know, this might be uh, good. You can slash with a spear if weapon. you, uh, depending if you're uh, slashing with it. Does it does slash hole is compatible with firearms? Firearms are piercing, slashing, and bludgeoning. Mm. You know, it might be actually good. Although, but... I can't see a bullet going in every direction once. You can think of it like um, a barrage. What that um, blue guy was called from Guardians of the Galaxy. He, he used the arrow. But, uh... Oh, Yon. Oh, I know what. But that only. Yeah, I, I say we give it a deal. Or yeah, we can I don't. Sell it. I don't need slash all. Oh, I can't. Hi. <laughs> but that's a lot of elemental material for the twenty-six part. Is that the dad? No, this, this... is the second generation cat. Aww. They got big. Yeah, they got big. Precious baby. And then you have a third generation too, right? Oh wait, uh, actually, there's three generations total. So this is the uh, second. Wait, so that's first. <laughs> How many cats do you have? Second gen. Uh, nine. That's they're a lot. This, they're all in this very room. That's a lot of cats. I know. Why haven't you given any cats away? Parents. They like them. Then why are they all in your room? I don't know. <laughs> oh, we'll give them to the youngest. <laughs> to the Look, youngest. how is this a bad thing? I mean, um, I, I get I get to sleep with nine other um, cats, which they I, I will show you overnight. why, uh, Kim. I will show you my uh, favorite gif of uh, now near. Huh? Oh, what do you mean by that? Oh, oh, oh that's the one. <laughs> Look in uh, General L. I did. That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> His face. I love like... it. That is the best. Yeah. I I still see no downsides. There's nothing wrong with that many cats. Uh, so the total of uh, murders, or total of people that died in uh, Midgar, has reached ten point two million people. Hmm. She had a blue spear weapon. Oh God! Imagine. You guys have blue spear weapons. I meant, I meant twenty four. That did all this. What makes you think she doesn't? Fuck. Huh? What makes you think you're the only ones that have blue spirit weapons? Uh, because I don't know. Because we we haven't seen anybody have other blue spirit weapons. Hi. So about Gorm, where he at? So what? So what? Where, where's Gorm at? Driving a tank. Searching for survivors. Gorm probably spends looking. the next couple of weeks uh, doing this. Couple of weeks? Wait, Maybe. what? I don't know. How long did you spend to you do this for? I. I mean, uh... if it's a matter of a couple of weeks, then after a night's rest, of course, I'm going to go back out and help too. Yeah. Double tank. Tank. We can just teleport. Is that right? Yeah, that's the idea. Get rest, teleport in, gather more people. Fall back to sleep. Yeah. Repeat. Don't forget about eating. What? You know, you gotta eat. eat. What's well, that? 
That's oh right. yeah, He's... nobody told Jalela about the fruits. Yeah, exactly. Oh. The fruit, though, hey, that would, if someone would want to tell me about that, that could keep me from having to sleep constantly. I don't know where Since you're at, sorry. Since it would, you know, re replenish my mana. I don't know where you're at, sorry. In the same room that you sleep in. You're all sleeping in the same small room. There's no more places to sleep, really. You just keep going back and forth. Jaleel is asleep. I'm out of key. Boom. Off. And then you wake up. Jaleel is teleporting back and forth. You start te uh, teleporting back and forth. By the time you get back in there, Jaleel is asleep. I guess I gotta tell Jaleel about the fruit. Boom. <laughs> asleep. You wake up. Jaleel is gone. <laughs> so it's like Jaleel. 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 Sorry. Yeah, don't say no, that, what that I said. No, that was Will's fault. I blame Gil. I don't look okay. at names, okay? Okay, me too. <laughs> Jalea. There we go. Yeah. Like, did you know that bag has magical fruit that can replenish your health and magical capability? Well, I don't know about the magical capability, but I know- Oh, yeah. Magical capability as well. Also, really? Also, it saves. It feels like you eating for a whole week. And I've been napping this whole time. Sweats a little bit. Where uh, can I get this fruit? Uh, get me some. Uh, people are currently collecting people in Midgar. You should go ask Melnir. He knows where it is. Goes to ask Melnir. Melnir is currently away. He's, he's collecting people in uh, Midgar. Uh, teleports into Midgar and starts looking for people. You get another 68 people. Oh, with an eye out for Nelnir. I, I have a sense of his key. I can literally go to... No, you don't. You're out of the key. Joke's on you. I can still sense it. Yes, you can. But no, now you can't. You can tell tell this to nobody. I can True. teleport him. Oh my god! Hi, Rigby. Hello. All right. Anyway, moving on. You learn about the fruits. You go into the thing and you pick up some fruits. And every time you eat a fruit, your MP replenishes completely. Great. So now I can get a lot of people out real fast. Yes, and then you you, you teleport eight, 68 people, eat a fruit, teleport 68 people, eat a fruit, teleport 68 yep. people, start to feel over encumbered by your eating so much. Teleport use the bathroom. Six, use the bathroom. <laughs> teleport 68 people, eat a fruit. Use the bathroom. Yep, come up to the big machine. And then uh, after the the fourth fruit, uh, you try to eat the next fruit, but you can't. Uh, that sucks. Wait, what are you doing? I think I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, no, no more takes fruit. She no just ate. A, I, that's a month's worth of food that she ate in a in a single day. No more fruit takes away. No more fruit. <laughs> The people I... Rest. excuse me she goes to hurl somewhere your MP is thrown up <laughs> <laughs> it's fine I already got the people out alright we'll say you spend the next couple of days bringing people in and out of the city Jalela <laughs> is uh, bedridden for the next couple of days because uh, how that magic fruit works <laughs> But she did a lot in that one day. <laughs> it evens out. Uh, we'll say you rescued, with that bag, maybe about 10,000 people. Jalea and... Uh... Jesse. Yeah, you. Uh, Jesse. Oh! <laughs> uh, you rescue with uh, your teleporting in and out about 2,000 people. And uh, Shinra is has rescued a lot more people to other towns as well. Mm. And the radiation yeah, starts did. to die down because it starts raining. Well. 
But this city's no longer worth saving. Damn, Sector said he got fucked up. Oh, there's a fucking hole in that. Yeah. That's where the weapon came out of. Oh. My mother's bar. No. Damn you. So, should we sell the stuff we have? I mean, that sounds reasonable. Yeah, we might need to go to Neo Midgar to do that. <laughs> yeah. No problem. You could go to Neo Midgar for that, and you get, uh, Gorm, you get a phone call. Hello? Uh, we have sights on what appears to be a temple, but we're not sure. You're not sure? No, we are not sure. We have the location of what appears to be one of your temples that you gave us location for, but we are not entirely sure if it's a temple or not. Oh. Uh, we sent some men in, but they have not come back out. Hmm. Which location is this? Uh, this is the eastern one, uh, just east of uh, uh, Neo Midgar. Can we have the war map, please? <laughs> I think I know where he's talking about. So it's this one? Yes. And he starts sending you pictures. Mm. Alright, what do the pictures look like? Uh, crash the area, but uh, what it, it appears that the temple is somewhat submerged. Like in a lake? Like it is, uh, the temple is halfway next to the ocean. It's like half submerged and half not. It's sticking out of the water? Yeah. Alright, well, it's a lead. I say we go for it. Uh, we're, sent we're about to send our next uh, batch of uh, scuba divers in. Uh... W uh we're going to see what we can find, uh, see if we can find out what happened to the first group of people. All right. If you give us a bit, we can come support you. All right, roger that. Gorm is going to gather up the whole party. All right, well, first, you need to go to Neo Midgar to sell your stuff. But and before, the before that, or we're going to call it for the evening right here. So yeah. we can do all your shopping and upgrading in between sessions. Okay. Speaking uh, of upgrading. And thank you for joining us for today's episode. This is to finish up the season three. Mm -hmm. Next time we will start off with the temples uh, diving. Okay. Yeah, thank you for joining us. We will be back in two weeks.
Bye bye. Bye bye. See, you guys stick around so you can do the shopping. Or else. Yep. <laughs>